Welcome, guys, to another episode of the Sensitive Podcast, hosted by yours truly, me, Lens, <laughs> and yours, T. You are. Yes, guys, welcome to another episode. <laughs> um, should we go straight into it this time? Yeah, it's been a while we did that. Start fun facts for the Yeah, lashes are done. So I was looking at it from the corner. <laughs> I saw it from the corner. I was like, she initially the first one didn't really notice it, but this no, one I can see it. it. Like she your lashes, them. especially the corner was a. Uh, she tinted them. Go on. And I got my got my eyebrows done today. And you see, mine's tomorrow. Everything comes out tomorrow. And you can do it free fresh tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, today because this was it uh, that's why I said later because I went straight from school okay and I took a nap like this yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah, do you think it's going to hold to the holiday no I'm going to get um, infills before we leave like so that's how I thought about it smartly yeah. even yeah because even like my nails I'm probably just going to paint it and then get it done properly oh, no, for the I'm holiday. getting acrylics done and then I'll just get infills no, no I'm probably just going to get shellac because I thought about I was get shellac done and then when we travel I'll get it done properly but, or I'd get it done for a party. Just depends. But for tomorrow, mm-hmm. what she gets is what she get. Yeah, tomorrow, because tomorrow is when it's gonna be. Yeah, no, I'm still gonna go get the shell act done and stuff, but it's not gonna be as proper as I would normally would. But oh well, yeah. my dress will say a lot. I, I think it would. I haven't tried none. None. How many do you have? I bought four. Whichever one fits. I bought I one bought brown one. Yeah. I bought. So there was two. I did. I have a thing for not wearing black to wedding. Same. Same, because there was a black dress I wanted. But, Ooh, but I the bought... The slit was slitting! I bought a brown one, I bought a burgundy, and then I bought a... I bought a black, so I just couldn't... Yeah. And I bought a red. Mm-hmm. But the black and red are two different kind of style. Yeah. But the burgundy and brown one, same style. I just didn't know what colour. Yeah. I bought like nine different dresses. What's the problem? <laughs> and at least five of them look so good on me. No, I haven't tried none on. They came today, and because I've just been so like back to back to back, like I haven't actually had time to open anything. I've got like four parcels at home that I haven't even opened. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, yeah. But we'll see. One will fit. I may mean, definitely wear. I definitely have a dress for tomorrow. I, d- I d- one definitely the the main me. um one that ordered like last time. Only God knows where it's coming from. It's not yet hair. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wear that for the party. Because I don't know what they want me to do. But if that one came, I'd have wore that because it was something different. It wasn't brown. Like, it was just... Not every day slip. Not every day someone needs to see my leg. But, no, yeah. Man, I've got one that says slit, slip. Yeah, no. The, if I wear the brown one, it's like just a normal casual thing. Slit, brown, wrap round. It's cute. But, oh, well. No, no. We'll post that when it's time. So, my fun fact is that elephants are the only mammals that can't jump. Ah. Makes sense. For the mammals that can't jump. Um, reading from last episode was what is the least spoken sign language? Huh? Lied. What is the least spoken? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with it. You gotta bear with me. There's gonna be a bad mistake being made today. Um, what is the least spoken language? Sign language. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't speak sign language. Yeah. And then reading for this episode is what can make the octopus laugh. A tentacle. Yeah, but. <laughs> 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 I saw that and I thought, I quite like this. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's very cute. That's very, very cute. Yeah. Do you think, um, after a while, you see how, like, if you're in a relationship, people say you get comfortable and you stop doing what you were initially doing. Do you think you can get comfortable in a friendship? I asked you a question. Yes, I do think you can get comfortable in, in, in any sort of relationship with anyone. And it wasn't that hard. Do you think you get comfortable? Yeah. See? Give me an example of getting comfortable. It's just not, not trying anymore. Like how? Like growth. Like, as we get older, we are changing as human beings. Like, you change into either something, the person, your whatever kind of friendship or relationship that is either like they don't like you start to like things they don't like mm-hmm. or things like that so it's if either if you're getting comfortable you're willing not to adjust to what they're used to do you get what i'm saying no <laughs> no, explain. no so if like for example let's say what's the best example i can give you let's say you met me playing basketball yeah 
Yeah. No, wrong as I would. Let's say I used to come to your basketball game, like on a regular, where you're playing for a team. And then as I've gotten older, I just lost interest. I don't care for it as much. And you keep inviting me. It's like, okay, cool. She's not going to not be my friend because I'm not going to your basketball game, but you actually want me there. Yeah. So this is me being comfortable. It's like, yeah, whatever. I'll check on it. Yeah. I'll check on it after. That kind oh, of perspective. Oh, making an assumption that basketball is very important yeah to you, to you yeah, yeah that kind of thing like you, you having your yeah because obviously you keep inviting me like there's a reason you keep inviting me you want me to come but because I'm just like we talk after we go to dinner mm-hmm. if I miss the basketball game it's not that important that's me being comfortable mm-hmm. like I haven't taken into accountability yeah. Yeah. of how important it is to you yeah. so this is what I'm saying in terms of growth so as we're growing things are changing we're changing as humans things are changing in your life things are changing in my life and we're just growing so it's either we're comfortable where we're not willing to adjust into each other's growth and we're just saying it is what it is which can be a thing where it might work out but it can feel where we go our separate ways or is a thing where we make it work out we've learned to understand each mm-hmm. other because mm-hmm. the conversation we had in january for example and i don't know what conversation we had but just i'm just saying if we had a conversation in january we're now in july if you have the same conversation with me what i said to you in january might not be the same now yeah. and you can then ask me and be like but you said this and i'm like yeah but as things have gone along as things has happened i'm now thinking this you know what i'm saying so and that that's what i mean by being comfortable yeah. and like not growing and stuff yeah 100 percent. no i do i do think you can get comfortable where you just don't try as much anymore do you think you're comfortable in any of your relationship no you think you're always trying yeah okay yeah i think um I tried to my best to be with him. Yeah, and that's all they can ask for, isn't it? I think um, in certain areas, I un- I identified I can grow. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I like hinder myself and feel like, but if this is how it was before, why must I change now? Yeah, but it's... That's what I said, I hinder myself. Yeah, I hear you, I but I was just gonna myself, say I hinder myself. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say I said I hinder if, myself. I need to attack me. I'm not attacking you. I was I just gonna. Say, oh myself. God, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm not attacking you. I was just gonna say because you said you hinder yourself. It's not okay. Cool. Them accepted you for who you were then, and you're saying why can't they just carry on accepting you for who you are now because you haven't changed? But it's not about you changing. It's about them changing and you kind of falling into the change they've made. Yeah, cool. You have to then make some changes into you, and you're thinking, why do I have to do that? It's not that why I have to do that. It's okay. Cool. Communicate your changes to me. Tell me how you. Yeah, but sometimes I can change with you. I understand that, but sometimes it's a thing where you don't always acknowledge the changes you're made until some someone points it out to you. Mm all the time mm-hmm. so it's a thing where if the changes isn't being acknowledged all the time i don't know how it would then be communicated because i haven't figured it out until you like you know you, you know, did you, this or said this before and you, now you've changed what you said the thing the one way i think people are able to see that they've changed is so let's say you you're in a familiar situation and you no longer react to that situation the same way mm. or you act a different way to the situation mm-hmm. like, let's say is my me as an example if someone now pisses me off on the road mm. i no longer come out the car <laughs> <laughs> i stay in the car that's big growth this is me seeing i've changed mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. i can actually say that i've changed so i think once you go once once the situation is repeated <laughs> itself hell. and you realize i'm no longer reacting the way i used to react whether it's a good or bad thing because you yeah. could have changed for the worse and react yeah. in a worse way, way than yeah. what you did before but i think that's how you're able to 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 see you've changed in any kind of way by just experiencing by experiencing life so even yeah. even I me, like that even yeah. me knowing you've changed is by uh, the situation that we're both in, in and the way you react in the situation so i'm not gonna know by night that you've changed yeah that's what i'm saying way, but it's we've we've gone through something and i'm like you would before she would have done it like this Mm-mm-mm. so I'm like okay she's not doing that she's doing it like this instead whether it's good or bad yeah 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 but that's how there's a change. change yeah no that's a good point I've, I've never put it like that fair enough quite like that I told you you grow I'm a wise I'm wise now I'm a wise that's young lady what were you before I'm more wiser okay <laughs> 
I was wet before, but <laughs> I'm wiser. I'm wiser. Something's ringing in my ear. I'm wiser. No, it makes sense because com- comfortability is quite dangerous. It is. It is. I feel like if you start something, you have to keep it going personally or try to keep it going. Mm, yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah. To a certain extent. Comfortability is quite, like, it is quite dangerous. Like, yeah. I feel like I can be quite comfortable with you to a certain point. Can you? Like how? Yeah. Give me an example. I can't give you an example off the top of my head. See, but, but I don't think you are too, you know? You, you don't. I think, because, because I am not, because, okay, I'm not going to say, because I, I don't know, maybe because I don't just, I don't expect anything from you. Mm-hmm. So I feel like whatever you give, I'm grateful for. So I don't think, because I think you go above and beyond. Yeah, and not generally, generally, I genuinely think I don't think you're comfortable. Maybe that's just me seeing because I just don't expect anything really. And and you try, actually, no, I do think you're a little bit comfortable. Jesus Christ! You used to, you used to, you used to, what did you used to do? What did I used to do? Go on, that I don't do anymore. Go on. What did you used to do? What did you used to do? What did I used to do? I thought like there's something that you used to do. Like what? You don't do anymore. Like what? I feel like you used to be a bit more romantic with me. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, actually, F out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> I'm thinking this guy about to say something. <laughs> Please, on to the next. Don't have time for you. Don't have time for nah, you. I don't, I don't think you're comfortable. But that's just my perspective because I feel like... Yeah, but... um, Because... That's I the just, only perspective you can talk from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I just feel like I don't expect anything from anyone, really. So, whatever you give me... I'm always grateful for it. So even if it's the smallest of things, um, I'm still grateful because I just don't expect you to do anything. Fair enough, I hear it. But I, but you can lose it. A little bit more. You've lost your mind. So just I don't, I don't know what crack you're on today, but you've just lost a, your just a little. Bit. In what aspect? Um, go on. Send some flowers to my house. That's not happening, Milan. Just because I know you're expecting it. You it's know what? Happening. If you had said it to me yesterday or even the day before, I wouldn't have accepted it. See, you're you doing too much. You see, you see, you see, no, no, you see if you had sent me the week after you even said, the day after you sent to Kalana, I had forgotten the same day. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have, I promise you, after we had a conversation, I genuinely forgot and I would, and you would have sent me flowers to the house and I would have been excited. It doesn't even have to be flowers. I don't even like flowers. I was about to say, that's why I never get, that's why I said this but girl don't like flowers so what she talking it's about? It's a gesture. Yeah, that's what, I thought about it as like she don't like flowers but it's You've a thought that You've never sent me a gesture to my house. Well, hold up. Wait a minute. I've never sent it but I've hand delivered it. What I always you? hand delivered. I, I come with bare things when I come to you. You don't do that anymore. Comfortable. <laughs> Comfortability. <laughs> so if this is, so if you've done this to me, then do it now. I, I did. What's the last time you bought me something? What's the last time I bought you something? The comfortability. You're lying. I got you something this year. Don't do that. What's your mean? I've got you something this year. Baby. Don't do that. Baby. Baby. No, I got your perfume, but you told me you didn't need it, so I took it back. No. No. You said to me. <laughs> exactly. You said to me. No, I, said, wait, I said this one. Wait, I wait. You said, bit. you said, it's not finished. So I don't need it. So I took the perfume, started <laughs> using it. it no, but you, you really bought yourself I bought one. one. You said the other one's somewhere at a house. I don't know where it is. Give it but to me. Yeah, if I find it, yeah, sure. I want it. That's fine, but yeah, I have gotten you stuff. Don't don't ever draw me out like that because I definitely have. I might not be able to. Do it. So I thought that I feel like we got too much where I spent money on you that I don't need to buy you anything anymore. Don't. When did last time you spent money on me? You lost She's your on me. fucking mind. I spent money on you. Nowadays, I'd be I'd be i be um paying like Apple Pay as if Apple was paying. I spent money on you. I just took it up for brunch. <laughs> I sent you the meme about you spending money on the when you pay for the <laughs> see the um, best friend get paid and then treat you. That's what you did. So <laughs> no, you, no, spent, you spent happened. you didn't spend listen you didn't spend money on me. You spent money collectively on the group. It didn't make me feel special because you, you paid for everyone. No, you what paid you, for everyone. I'm asking you a question. You paid for everyone. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. I need to know a yes or no. I don't need to know. Okay. Were you there? Yes. Did you eat? Yes. Was just, did did you have to pay for the meal? No. No, did you? When you came in, were you expected to pay for a bill? When I came in, when no, you, let came, me, you can't ask that question. When I when came in, you came in to the brunch <laughs> before we sat down. You ask your question, let me answer. <laughs> I'm gonna break your finger do that again. <laughs> Violence. 
No. <laughs> when I came in, my whole thought, Caroline, I wasn't expecting. Wasn't expecting, so I thought. No, was she, put, she put my bill up. <laughs> <laughs> so when she then said she weren't paying for her, I said, okay, cool, my bill's back down. Before you paid, Hand on our, I was planning to pay for the whole thing as well. Hey, look at you. So what are you to do? So you you picked pick? it up. I said, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you picked it up. I said, cool. With the way my headspace was that day, it was like, as a, I genuinely didn't think you would pay for it. I was going to tell you, we can go half. Like, I wasn't going to let Brenda yeah, pay. Yeah, Brenda yeah I wasn't going to let Brenda I pay. I paid for her lashes. Brenda was never paying. Yeah, I wasn't going to let her pay. And I was like, I hand on heart. I came with the intention and I came in with the money to cover everyone that day. Say, swear. Swear. Hand on heart. Nice. Everything. I came with the... Nice. I didn't expect Carolina, but I came with the intention and money. Budget. Because nice. even before we... When we were going... It wasn't expensive, though. No, when we initially go into the other one, the one in Canary, I had already checked the menus. I had an estimate of what people would get, how much would be. So I came with the mindset of already paying. <laughs> Minus Carolina. <laughs> we, we get... We get. Minus Carolina. <laughs> Minus Carolina. But no, um, even if she was there, I would still cover her. Like, it's not like... It's never that thing, but I came with the mindset of pain already. So when you did that, I thought, oh, all right, cool. Next time, no, wait, you said like this. No, if you pick the receipt up, you said if you pick the receipt up, you're paying. You pick the receipt up, you pay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Next time, <laughs> the receipt will come. <laughs> you're not romantic with me no more. I don't need to be romantic you with you. Do. No you don't. More. You don't. You don't gift me little things if you used to. I do. Don't. I do. Do you know no. what it is? I don't gift it to don't. you individually anymore. I put it all in one and I give it to you for your birthday. I don't want that. You want it individually? Yes. I, think I, don't, about I don't need it all for my... I don't want that. I don't want that. I told you already, your present for me every year is a new pair of I thought about this. Shoes. So that's, please. All, that's all I need. From you, Tiwa, from you, I need a new pair of shoes <laughs> basketball shoes every year. That is... That is so what happened to the year you're not playing basketball? Then you, then you have to find something else. <laughs> For the t- just, let me finish. Let me finish. I'll be like, I'll be like, this is your lifetime, but this is my lifetime. Yeah, exactly. For the every year, for the years I'm playing basketball, I just need to get me new pair of shoes. I bet we'll see. That's all I need for you. I'm not a person of time. I have got you some. Expensive. I got you something this year. What did you get me? I got you some perfume. So what did you, you get me this year? You took my. What did you get me this year? That ring you're wearing, I got you. Like two, three years ago. Wow, dude, you're so ungrateful. No, don't. I did. I did. I did I say that. That's my I'm not going to get you anything. Ah. Uh? Next time, I'm not getting. You. No, I didn't say that. I asked you this year. You were saying that ring will go you. <laughs> this wasn't this year. If it was this year, I said, "All right, cool, hands up." It was this year. It, it wasn't this year. So what now? The bracelet you're wearing, I got you. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's not about. Then look up and down. Some charms you're wearing, and that I got you. Have I ever got your job? No, you've not. You've got your job for your birthday. I don't mind. I'm not against it. That's what I'm getting for your birthday. Yeah, I don't, I'm, listen, it's the thought that counts. You think... Love it. Yeah, love it's it. the thought love that counts. When you do things, it's the thought that counts. Do you have the small bracelet? What small bracelet? Can you can, can you fix my bracelet at Woolwich, please? I've asked you. I'm sorry, say what? Bruv, you see that gold bracelet? You know how much money I spent on that bracelet? How much? For it to break a week later. I'm mad. How much do you spend on that? Where, like, what bracelet is this? I remember a picture I showed you. Oh, Tiwa, do you know where I can fix oh, this? Oh, the, the little, the one. It's not the one I got. The, the one you got, you said. The, the, I got in the dime. Oh, okay. In Turkey? Yeah. You didn't send it to me. I did. I showed you a picture. I was like, where can I fix this? Because it was broken. Oh. God, send it again. Send it again. My mum was like... I was I was contemplating on buying it, innit? Mm. Because I'm thinking, okay, shamelessly, I'm thinking it's gonna be like gold plated, innit? Mm. So they're gonna tell me it's like thirty pounds for me. They're waiting. Hundred pounds was a small bit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, Treat yourself, huh? <laughs> You're here, man. Just yeah, get it. Just get. It. I said, you know what? Why not? Like, this is how you get. This is the same thing you did with the shades. <laughs> same thing you did with the shades. You, you, people like you around me. Mm. Like, you know, what's this? What have you got to lose? One hundred. One hundred percent. You know what? Like, get it. Make it back. Make it back. Mm-hmm. Got it. Just for it to break a week later. And it's not like you can go return it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. No, send me a picture again and I'll say, but send it as a picture this time because I'm in Woolwich tomorrow. I can ask for you and see if someone can fix it and then go from there. Really fix. It's a very cute bracelet. I just yeah. make sure that's where when I go to sleep. Oh, you slept with yeah, it. Yeah, oh, okay. you got caught on something. And then as when I, you turn. As I can be a rough sleeper. Mm. Are you a rough sleeper? 
<laughs> Actually, I can answer that for you. Go on. I don't think I'm a rough sleeper, but I just don't sleep still. Do you want to sleep still? No, because you've told me I hate you with uh, no, my foot. No, you like to feel like you're the only one sleeping in the bed. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I'm a rough sleeper. I just... You like to think that you're the only one sleeping... Oh, yeah. Why am I in Bali? <laughs> we had a king... When I said this this the biggest bed you've ever slept on. No, it's not. It's not as big as Nigeria's. No, it w- this one was... No, it's not. Maybe it's not as big as... the same size. Yeah, it's not as big king as Nigeria's. King size bed. Yeah. Can't get any bigger. Mm. California king, in fact. Can't get any bigger. Could I fit four, four of us in there? <laughs> you stretched it. Could I, fit, could I fit four of us in there? You stretched it. Why am I waking up? <laughs> Look at two was five foot five. Yeah, just about. She's small. She's small. <laughs> Why am I waking up? And T was across diagonally on the bed, <laughs> and I'm in the corner, and T was like is on top of me. <laughs> I was just trying to make sure she's still alive. And just make sure she, I was just trying to make sure you're still there. I don't. And you do bare times. I was just trying to make sure you're the bare you're still times. there. I'm trying to make sure you're if still you there. If you want to cuddle, just let me know. You I don't want to cuddle. I'm more than happy to cuddle with you. I know you are. <laughs> I don't want to cuddle though. I know you are. I'm more than. I mean, I've experienced I it. I've experienced it. I don't want it. I want. She got hot and she was like, "Yeah, okay, thanks. I'm going to bed now." I don't want this it. This is space. Yeah, Milka. It was a cold night. It was a cold night. Mm. I need to warm up. You go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it's alright. But um, I think I just don't. I don't, I'm not a rough sleeper. Like I won't punch you. I won't do none of that. But I just don't sleep straight. No, you don't. Yeah. So yeah. You don't you start asking for. But you don't punch me. You don't do nothing. You sleep in front. You 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 mumble a few words here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to the day I catch you talking. You're sleeping. This girl chats the most bullshit. And when I tell her, when I wake up in the morning, and I tell her, she's like, "No, I didn't do that." That's so embarrassing. Man, this how you be out here talking about your whole life. You don't want the person in there, and they're out here just doing this. Oh, so say swear this is what you think. And I'm having conversations. Bruh. Like, I know I've I've been told I sleep, I sleep too. Yeah, like there was this period of time you were like, oh, T were this and that. I said, Milan, what'd you say? Oh, I'll tell you when I wake up. <laughs> Milan, when, I wake up. I said, Milan, what were you trying to tell me? We, what are you talking about? You said my name and you said you tell me when you wake up. I don't remember doing that. I said, yeah. I don't remember. Tapped. I said, tapped. Have you ever slept, sleepwalked as well? Am I not? Am I meant to act surprised? Oh, God. I I believe it. I mean, even like this the 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 scariest story I've been told. The seabook. I think I just got out of bed. This nice to be flat bed. Walked to the door. My dad asked me, "Where are you going?" I walked back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I, don't, you're I going. don't believe it. But there was one time where this was years ago, and I think it might have been Christmas time, and I was staying at my auntie's. You know, we were mm. staying over at my auntie's. We had Christmas there. And then I was sleeping with her on, on on the bed, and she literally told me that I woke up in the middle and I'm like, "Who are you?" Oh, that's scary. That's scary. No, stop! You do that to me, I'm gonna punch you in your throat. You wake up. What do you mean? <laughs> we did it. As she said, I said, "We did it." Get up, get up. We did it. And I tell her when I'm about to sleep. I promise you I'll punch you I'll wake you up I will get some cold water and throw your face and wake you up because you know not scare me like that oh my god I said surely not I, just, surely I, I, not. I literally can't believe it because obviously I wake up and I don't know it's happening mm. I, I find it hard to believe but I don't I don't mind my auntie and with your lie to be no I mean if a few people has told you a few stories you need to know there's some kind of truth in there if it's just one person then I understand why there wouldn't be any kind of truth but what have you seen this week that's been motivational or something that's positive or that's spoken to you? Mine is um patient is not patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep a good attitude while waiting. I swear that somewhere, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And I think and I think that's because you're always gonna wait at some point. Yeah, yeah. Always gonna wait. Patience is not just waiting, it's having a good attitude whilst waiting. I think I'm a patient, but I'm a patient person. You used to be impatient. Yeah. Yeah, like, very, like you used to be impatient, yeah. but with growth. So the back growth has changed. With growth, yeah. I can still be a little bit impatient, I, depending if I'm hungry. Yeah, no, I think I'm quite patient. I work with kids, I'm so patient. But that's the thing. So patient. I work, but me, it depends on the environment I'm in. So at work, 
with my patience. I'm very patient. No, nah, with my patience. <laughs> um, like I am, mm. I am. Like mm-hmm. they could be saying all sorts, and I'm just there, like, okay, yeah, yeah, done. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but do you think? Of, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm Different little, environment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 the environment really shows in how patient I am. But more time, as long as I'm not hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, now I'm. I, I feel like I've always been a patient person. Like, um, it's all the exterior, but if you get to know, I'm very calm. Like, I can be quite. What's the rush? To a certain point, you? like yeah. So I think I'm yeah, but um yeah. What about yourself? So it's been a struggle to find something. It's been a struggle to see something speak to me. But um, the only one that somewhat stood out was um, this one where it says. <laughs> Everyone, it says you survived too many storms to be bothered by a raindrop. And that in itself just says a lot. Yeah. Survived too many stories to be by a raindrop. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, with that being said, I appreciate that. Um, what's really for this episode was what can make the octopus laugh? You already know what to do. You send it in. I'll post the riddle up. Put your poll in, and yeah, that's another thing. Time, I said that at the beginning. Don't draw me out. I said summertime I might even bring out some of the old one back. But yeah, no, don't do that. This is how she be talking in sleep, by the way. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Thank you guys for watching, listening, tuning in. I appreciate you guys for coming, taking time out of your precious day to watch myself, Auntie Walola, bring you another great episode. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Show us something. Show us that you appreciate our amazingness. Guys, we've been keeping up this third quarter. We told you we're coming better and stronger, and we're actually doing it. What are you talking I do apologize. for well, you're finished. You took a pause. Yeah. Sorry. Your voice isn't better than mine. What, Christina? <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> why, are you, why are you training my sister for? <laughs> that took to me like I'm your little sister. No, I'm talking to you. I'm not, you're my little sister. I'm talking you like to, to bring it. You're my little sister. You lack respect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it will shock you. I'll show you what respect is. Finish your conversation then. What you got your lash done? You got little brows done? Think you could be out here screaming things? Talk your talk and let's keep it moving. Don't hate, appreciate, big sexy. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I forgot now. <laughs> I had nothing to say anymore. So why are you interrupting me? You. It's been your host with the most brilliant Sophia. <laughs> and yours too, well. I'm not doing it, bro. Be out. Because you lost it. I think you lost it.